She. She. What is up, y'all? Currently sitting on a car right now. Just be. I was watching a video about being your authentic self and how when you're your authentic self, sometimes things might take a little longer. But for me, my authentic self is doing things rapidly. So it's kind of like, if we talk about being your authentic self, right? As your authentic self, it's one of those things where it's like you need to, like let's say, being your authentic self is going to make the process longer. But for me, my authentic self is making the process as efficient as it possibly can be while delivering on the service. So if that's the case, then the high vibrational and level up of frequencies is just going to happen by default. Because we talk about being our authentic self. And if you are your authentic self, sometimes it might take a little bit longer. But my authentic self is driving the universe and warping realities towards my favor. So if that's the case, I, by default, the aspirations are just magnetizing themselves towards me. And what's crazy is like, I'm not even doing anything. I'm just living life. I don't think you're supposed to work hard because there's a finesse to it and all things begin to flow. I said this in one of my other YouTube videos where I am entering the largest flow state, right? And what happens is as you enter flow state deeper and deeper and deeper, it gets harder and harder to pull yourself out of it. And that's crazy because what that's gonna allow me is to be in flow state for like 90 days to six months, right? And then when I get out of flow state and I wake up, right for about a month or two i can see all of the effort and the work that i put in right and then as i enter back into flow state for another 90 days to six months the implement feedback loop implement feedback loop is so prominent so what do i mean by flow state flow state is when your vessel does a series of actions and then allows its unconscious mitochondria to take over this is the sixth sense, right? Because there's a realm beyond humanity. What happens is once you tap into your flow state, you no longer are in your vessel anymore. You allow your higher self to do the work. And what's crazy is our higher selves, the pinnacle of forgiveness, will literally guide us, me, one, will literally guide oneself will literally guide the individual that the higher self is connected to and hold their hands step by step, one plus one. Make it so simple to, if you do this, do this, do this, do this, listen, listen to the ether and you'll be, all be good to go, right? And this is why it's important to tap into your higher self. So how do you tap into your higher self? By realizing that the higher self, like I said, is going to guide you step by step like how you first learned anything, you just learned it step by step. So that's what the higher self does. It literally holds your hand. Your higher self holds your hand and guides you through the entire process.